Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Elchis Play Sky Vault. I'm Elchis. This is my sky. That is a vault, or at least it's a vault portal with no vault ready in it. Today's vault looks reasonably cheap, which is good because it means I'm not going to have to spend the whole week trying to get stuff. I probably can get some arrows. And we've got a really good iron farm going on, which is great. And our villagers have been breathing nicely, which is great. I think both of these are working quite well as well. There's... Mm, it's not great. But we'll get there, and the beetroot farm is definitely working fine. So let's let's jump in this vault. I need to collect more carbon. Last week we did have a bit of a tragedy. I needed carbon, then everything exploded, and now I need more carbon. So we're going to go to the vault. We're going to try and strategize our looting. We're going to try and find some carbon, and I'm going to have a bit of a think to see what else we can focus on whilst in there. But I think it's going to be nice to just have a vault to start with that isn't a, um, isn't a raw vault. Oh, and I need a new magnet. I think I'm going to continue without a vault compass. I think we're doing okay. How are we doing on pouch? Still need to make this. Again, I think that was steel. And of course, we have an unspent, unspent skill point, which I can't say, so I can't spend it. Very tempted to upgrade my javelin, actually. It is probably one of the most potent offensive things that I've got, besides strength. And how much is strength? Strength is actually one... Like speed is four. I want, I do want some speed, but it's not been that big of a deal. I'm going. Oh, it cost me two. Next, cooldown two seconds. That's all you get is a cooldown. Ah, more knockback. But we could also specialize it. Okay, so the next level of this, more piercing, same level of cooldown. Mm, let's save up for that. I want to. I just want to do a vault. It's been. <laughs> it's so uh, unique and rare, and I do have. A bounty, before you ask. Monolith 2. Nice and easy. Um, Ore rooms and carbon and a magnet. Oh, and monoliths. And XP. So I can't break chests anyway, but I don't want to be doing the throwing things onto the ground job. Because, again, that needs a magnet. Monolith first room. Brilliant. And... New gen first room. Amazing. This place has reminded me that I got some budding amethyst a long time ago. Two of them, and I haven't put them down yet. We should make a little cave, a little place for them to live. Well, it's not that risky, because we do have um, Beginner's Grace still. So if we die here, not the end of the world, <laughs> necessarily. Let me tell you about this room. When you go down here, it will decide whether the room that you're in is going to be hostile or safe. It's safe. Nice. It's not safe? It's not safe. Okay, it makes the same sound regardless of whether it's hostile or safe. If it's safe, it's full of golden chests. If it's not safe, it's full of baddies. We have to make our way out, of course. <laughs> and there's going to be baddies up top as well, which is going to cause me issues. Where did you come from? Oh, I see. Well, at least they're all here now. Okay. 
However, I can't get out of there. That was really hard. <laughs> you don't get any XP, by the way, and I don't get my uh, reward crate either, which is a shame. That room is a lot harder than I expected it to be, so I probably won't do that again until I'm a bit more powerful. One thing I would like to be able to do is jump out of there with one use of my dash. I There's no way I could have done that in that room, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, and we did get to keep our loot, of course. We took some damage. Everything took damage because that's how Beginner's Grace works. Oh well, let's uh, see what another one's going to cost and see what we won and put some stuff away. A decent amount of knowledge, actually, because we did find a lot of living chests and had some already. So we might be able to unlock another mod. Let's find out uh, when I finish doing this. You can see how much we need a soul pouch, or at least storage straws. Soul pouch is going to be useful because these stack so much in the vaults now, it's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's try and sort that out as well. I don't think we're going to beat these boots anytime soon. Not only did we need boots, but the boots that we've got to replace them are stupendous. And this... It's you. It's the... Oh. Let's see what it... Um... See how big it is. This might be really handy for this area, actually, because a, small, uh, a single block chest with a bigger inventory is going to really help. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's nearly as big as a double chest just on its own. That's amazing. Well, let's see how we did on uh, the carbon. Oh, we've got a lot of carbon now, actually. A lot. 24, 24. Oh, that's going to get us a lot. Yeah. Well, it was a successful vault run, even though we died. I'm very happy with that. So now we can make our... Oh, what did we lose? We need our black market. We also need somewhere for all this to live that isn't just bunched together like a lunatic over here. Anything good? Platinum. Sort of. Also sort of not. 1094 for one of those might be nice. Repair claws are great because if you have... Something that's dying. What do we have? I don't know how many we have. Um, if you have something that was really good, but it was dying, you can put a repair core on it and just fix it up. Also, that gets rid of a lot of those, which I was sick of. So, win-win, I say. Then, we also lost the tool... We're making the tool forge. Nice. So this, as mentioned, is what we've been waiting for for all our lives. We can create helmets, chest plates, leggings, swords, and magnets. So for a magnet, we need magnesite, vault bronze, diamonds, netherite, and vault plating. So that is a lot of the stuff that we have. So a bunch of this, a bunch of this. Another nice thing about this, again, like all of the vault things, these stack a lot in a single slot. So you don't have to worry about putting all of your stuff in here. Uh, magnesite ingot. So, so we've actually done it wrong anyway. <laughs> nine. I need nine magnesite ingots. So uh, it means I need nine. I've got enough actually, but not much left after that. So I guess we'll do another vault. Um, did I get a thing out there? Let's see what the next vault will cost. Sand, bones, cactus, and an emerald. Did we win cactus yet? I never I win cactus. Was it just one? It was a lot. We should build a cactus grower, if not a cactus farm. Because this is most of it. I have three left. We can't get it from the raw vaults, but I don't want to keep going in for more. We've got sand, so we should do it. I have to open it with a loaf of bread. That's not how that works. Let's actually, while we're here, pick up upgrade. There's two chromatic steel ingots, which is a bit of an issue, uh, because <laughs> we're struggling with those. So let's try and get some steel nuggets, or some carbon, and some more knowledge points, and then we'll think about what we want to do next with our uh, you know, research, our, our, our mods, because I think a storage mod is going to be next in our in our lineup. I just don't know which one. Alright, another easy one, please. I didn't even get my completion correct. Unbelievable. Oh, Alexa, we like Alexa. A free magnet would be nice too. Oh, 
and the special themed vault. That's been, this is good. Remember, you have not got an elytra. <laughs> we still haven't found an ore POI at all in several vaults. Decent uh, elixir from some of this. I would like a pickup upgrade so I don't have to keep doing this. Okay, what? Whoa! How tiny are you? Also, the dungeon is escaping. It's leaking. Might have to beat it up. There's the spawner. <laughs> Bounteous room, especially for what we're looking for. Probably could have picked up some more lava. <laughs> An actual ore peel. I thought they stopped making this. What? That was it? <laughs> Mine's six Larian bar. I, I got one. Maybe they were all joined together. Anyway. Not complaining. First room already finished. <laughs> How good is that? Maybe we should get some chocolate while we're here. Yay! <laughs> nice. Ooh, this is a soul camper that I can pick up with my silk touch. I'm not sure if I need silk touch. Could probably take it. Probably take a, a souvenir from here. A lollipop. Wait for that. <laughs> Let's not take a souvenir. I think this continues to be a challenge room that we can walk through. I think maybe since I just said, Let's not do these things, <laughs> we will just walk through it. I don't want to die. I want to, you know, assume my lodestone and win. When my. That's coming to me. I want what's coming to me in, in the good way. Yo! <laughs> what? Ah, more ores. It's actually very helpful. I haven't seen one in a while. I'm to feel the piercing would be really helpful. Because there have been several times when I've been sort of lined up on a few monsters that would have been pretty much all hit. Less damage, but it would have gone through all of them. Here, a dungeon in this place or anything like that. So, I and I don't think we should try that Omega room, even one of them. He says going back to try it. It's far away. <laughs> so far away. Never mind. <laughs> Next time, when we're strong, when we're good, when we're feeling better, when we're not licking our wounds from having died from a previous POI, uh, from a previous Omega room, then I should say, then by all means, let's, let's do it. Eleven thousand XP. That's a good amount. We're now level thirteen. Yeah, and we can spend our two skill points on what I said. Nice. I do believe we can at least make. Oh look, we've got a lot of chromatic iron blobs as well. This might actually get us out of a couple of pickles because we also wanted. Um. Our pickup module, didn't we? Craft magnet, level 13. 
So you can you can change the level of the crafted gear so that you can craft it for somebody else. Otherwise, it'll pick your current level, which is what we want. And we get a magnet of some description. Probably fine. It's a rare magnet, actually. 4.7 range. Seems like a lot. It might be pretty good. Ta-da! Right, I feel a lot better now. I can break things in my skyblock world without losing them forever. And finally... Boom. Whoa! That's a strong magnet. <laughs> we also got a 24 size axing. That could turn into something useful. And a 90 size picking is... You're taking the picking, mate. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, it's alright, actually. So alright. I went falsetto. That is this. Ooh. Ooh. Same one. And another part of that one. There's three of that. I think there's four or five to each, so regardless, we're getting quite close. Okay, we have 13 knowledge shards, which is enough for one more knowledge point, if I can earn myself some Benioptite. There's not very much Benioptite ore in this chest. I was expecting more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dear. Stashed it somewhere. We've got some Benioptite here, actually. So that's grand. Two, three. So we are going to need to smash these up. One, two, three. Knowledge point. We might as well consume it. We're not waiting for anybody. But what do we do with it? What costs one? <laughs> so storage mods exist. They okay. These cost one. Simple storage network is interesting. Um, because of performance issues, we have disabled more advanced features of this mod. These are kind of the reason you'd want them, <laughs> especially the crafting interface. I mean, it's nice to be able to pull things out and then craft them elsewhere. Export import, however, is going to be quite useful. Um, if we can't have them, then let's not. And these two require power. And a power thing, we could save up two. And then researching, the next one is three, because remember when we took this one, it added two to the cost. And it's currently on plus two. Uh, so this one now takes three rather than one. But it was locked, so we couldn't have spent just one on that. That's always going to cost three. This is going to cost one, but then the next one will cost plus six. And it's already on five. Power is a big one, though. Flux Networks, again, pretty big one. Hypes is a handy mod, actually. I'm going to have to put some thought into that. I'm wondering if that will be a good idea, actually. Elevator is just fun, especially in Skyblock. What does it cost? One. What's an elevator cost? Just, just Larimar and Chromatic Steel, which is a bugbear, but, you know, what are going to do? I'm tempted to get pipes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with pipes. <laughs> and then when I've got a good plan, I will implement said plan. I, this could be useful. For example, it could help us get stuff from farms and what have you into a bit more of a chest monster. And then we can upgrade the chest monster with a new storage mod, another storage mod later. So I'll think about it. We can pull things from over there. It allows us to spread out a bit more. I like the idea. But I'm going to save it up for now, I think. Well, let's see what... Uh, let's do vaults until we can't do a vault because what it's asking us to make. We should really think about that cactus farm, though. There's, there's cheap now. We should have a mob farm as well if it's going to keep asking us for things like arrows. No doubt it will soon be asking us for things like gunpowder. Am I? Do I remember correctly that the sickle is uh, shears? I think so. Yeah. And then put coin affinity on it. I have a question. How does plus item quantity and plus item rarity work? In the sense that... I'm going to put them on a tool. Do I have to use the tool to break the chest in order to improve the chest? Or is it just passive if I've got the tool in my hotbar? So can I stack up a tool that I rarely use with those benefits so that it almost never breaks and just have them as part of my vault experience? Is that going to work? I'm happy to get through a few vaults in one episode, to be honest. <laughs> Let's sort it out. Maybe we can get some more knowledge points. So we're focusing on living chests. Let's make a pickup upgrade first. 
Pick up upgrade. So what does this do? Well, it picks stuff up. <laughs> you can turn it on and off. And what you can do is you can set it to block these things, match the backpack contents, or only allow these things. So match backpack contents is really handy because if you put stuff in it first, then it will continue to pick those things up. And I think that if you set um, filters, it will also pick those things up even though they're not in the backpack yet. Let me show you how to set a filter. Well, you put a thing into it. You go to backpack settings, you go to memory settings, and you click on the slot. And now we're going to put chromatic iron in here. It didn't go away. Look, it's still there. Don't worry. I'm going to do that with a few things. Completely fill up um, the backpack's memory settings here. Then it will use the rest of the slots to pick up stuff that it could pick up once it's filled up those ones. Can we make a soul pouch? <laughs> I think we should. We owe it to ourselves to try. Can we share a sheet with a sickle? Yes. Shark pouch. Actually cheap, turns out. Didn't know what we were worrying about. Job done. Now that we have this, if we do this, it's now in the pouch. It said empty. Why did it say empty? Because it got picked up by this thing first. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, let's um, unset that because we have a pouch now. 64 shots. 411 shots. Amazing. Another thing we can do is to create more pouches and add more pickup upgrades to them. It's going to be expensive in chromatic steel, so I'm not going to do that yet, but it will help because we can sort of categorize things. For example, we can have one that picks up ores and bolt stone, right? So that would be handy too. Can attempt to do that now. And this point, of course, we can start worrying about whether we want to put affinities on our... If we put wooden affinity on it, what have we got? What are these together? 57. Oh, again. Fine. At least we've got a supply of iron. No, wait. Bounty. We can claim this. Woo! And also, what do we get? Mine nine wood to die or or mine three wood to die or <laughs> we should keep our reroll pearls in there. There's no reason not to. I don't really want to mine that much stuff. Although this has got a lot of chromatic steel in it. Submit sixty three gold ingots. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Let's do that. See if we can just do it straight away. Get a new one. What you do? What do you do for that? You just take what you need and right click the table. There you go. Claim reward. So now we have to either do or re-roll this one. I think I'll activate it, because I do want the chromatic steel. It was a lot, though. We should go back to picking up gold. And it's okay. It's a good fallback if we need one. What should we do? I think we can re-roll this one. And I'm going to do it wild. 9% soul chance. That's a lot more soul. And healing powder and hit. I like this for when that one breaks. I forgot to start recording, and I just completely missed. I did a whole dungeon. <laughs> you missed the dungeon, sorry. But I've, I'm recording now, so get with the program. Don't forget you can vein man with this. We've got um, plenty of stuff to be chucking into here, I think. Let's try this, 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 this. I'm adding things to this as I go along. So what I'm doing now is I'm holding down Control Q and just mousing over everything, and it will pick up into my backpacks anything that should be in there. And then the rest of the stuff will just, well, hang around on the floor at the moment because reasons. I really like elixir vaults because you don't have to worry about moving on to the next room. You know, if you are doing a monolith vault or even a scavenger vault, you have to go for certain things. Scavenger vaults, you have to look for chests and kill baddies, which is kind of elixir vault. But monolith vaults, you definitely have to keep going to the next room. You know, if there's no monolith in this room, you have to move on to the next room. Um, whereas this one, you just keep going until it says you can leave now. <laughs> I don't have to remember it. So if I'm finding that I've got some stuff, I don't have to tell the backpack to remember it, because on this go-round it will pick the stuff up. 
and on the next time when I empty it, it will have forgotten again because it's not in there anymore. So the memory will pick things up, but also I can just manually add stuff. Let's use our new tool. So the minus speed on that, that'll be amazing. Another time when maybe piercing would be good. I do know that I have the option of piercing. It doesn't cost anything to take it. Faster. Faster. Ah! <laughs> Disapprove. Ah! Might come back to the uh, dungeon there. I'm also expecting there to be a second... Is there a second? There isn't. Not really. Got a new sword. <laughs> Remember where my sword broke? Oh, there is. There it is. Ow. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> I'm going to hide whilst my mana replenishes itself. See? You get to see me do a dungeon, which is way harder than the dungeon that you missed because I wasn't recording. So, look at you. Break. What? No! My anvil! I was trying to put my bucket down and it used the anvil! <laughs> that is the worst. Remember, always replace the lava before you start messing around in there. That's like rule one. I don't know why I didn't do it. Oh, I'm so frustrated with myself, right? And the anvil! Go away! <laughs> I didn't ask for the anvil. What did we win? A ridiculous amount of things, actually. So, not salty. Salty with myself, but not salty with the outfit. Does that make sense? That makes sense. One reason why you might not want to always keep bolt bronze in here is that if I had this in here, and this was down, then I pick this up, now it's in here. Instead of in my hand. So I'm not going to put it in the memory, but I can use that mechanism to make sure it goes in there during a vault. I need to also remake our vault recycle. Done. Put that. We could probably put a cactus farm here. Since I removed the ground, <laughs> nothing happening, so... Yeah, let's try it. So that's a fairly standard cactus farm design. The posts are being a little bit of a problem. Sometimes things get stuck on them. I thought it looked cool. Turns out I'm wrong. So I'm going to replace... <laughs> I'm going to redo this, basically. But you get the idea. These cactus will grow... These cacti will grow up to the post. And as soon as they grow next to the post, that one that grew will pop off. Some of them will land on the spikes. They'll get deleted. That's fine. The majority of them will land in the water and end up in hoppers. And I've done half of this because I ran out of... I didn't run out of iron or anything. I've got plenty, but I couldn't be bothered. So I put hoppers here, 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 just at the ends of where the water goes. Um, obviously, anything that's in the middle here, there's no water. I'm just going to knock these down a little bit and put the water in again. But for now, this will do. We've only got three actual cactus plants going on. And then down here, I was thinking, if I'm going to get the pipes mod, which I think I might do. So this is one of the reasons I was waiting for it, to have a good reason to do it. And this is a good reason to do it. If I were to put a pipe on each of these, I could have them all extracting from the hoppers. And then I could have a single pipe that just wends its way all the way over there and dumps the cactus into a chest. And like I said before, I could make a sort of a more of a chest monster storage area sort of thing. This is the first thing that I put down, right? This is my original sorting system. Sorting system. It's just a storage system. So we'll improve that. And then as these grow, I can add more individual plants and, and increase our production but i'll do for now so i got a comment pointing out that the reason you put um a light or something on top of here is not just to provide light for the entire farm so that you can stack them but also it stops the 
farmer standing on top of the composter. So the reason there was stomped ground is that a farmer will stand on the composter, jump up again and break the ground. And he won't, even though it's a farmer, he won't till. He'll just harvest. So that's a bit rude. Our next crystal does require cactus. So we're going to have to wait for that to grow. Get on with it. And I did notice, by the way, since you're here, Snad is in the pack. Now, Snad is basically sand, but all it, it just makes whatever you plant on it grow really fast, which is sugarcane and cactus. It cost me a research point, so I could spend it on that. What I might want to do, though, instead is do some more vaults. We could spend it on that, do this vault, and then try and, you know, earn back the point that we spent on it, because it's not going to increase the price of pipes. So we could spend the knowledge point on that, get another knowledge point, spend it on pipes, get another, another knowledge point, spend it on storage. Basically, I've got a, a lot of options, and I'm wondering if Snad is the first thing to do. I've also got Sugarcane, which you can automate as well. Probably even more to make that over there. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Alchus. This has been Skyblock. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. This time, I have tried to keep it to somewhat of a sensible length. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that. It's raining on me, so I'm going to go. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I hope you join me in the next one. But until then, I'll see you. Bye.